If you want to know how I take my hair from this to this every single week, then you have absolutely came to the right place. And by the end of this video, your curls should be popping for the rest of the year. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax. I am the CEO of Curly Hair. And today I'm going to be giving you all my 2024 curly hair routine. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps and let's get right into it. All right, so per usual, wash day starts in the shower. So I get in the shower and the first step is just wetting my hair. And I like to thoroughly rinse my hair before I shampoo. I find that thoroughly rinsing your hair just kind of helps everything like loosen up, loosens up any gunk and dirt that's in there and some of it even rinses out because the key to a great wash day is a great wash clean hair clean scalp is essential so after my hair has been thoroughly rinsed then i go with my shampoo my go-to always that i know i can trust and go back to is the olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo it has this super concentrated bond building formula that helps to repair and hydrate your hair and whenever i use a shampoo my hair just always feels super clean but not stripped and my curls look better whenever i use this shampoo like whatever the bond building formula is in this shampoo it really does something because my curls just pop more when i use this shampoo and they also pop really well when i pair it with the conditioner but Olaplex is a more higher end brand and so I choose to splurge on the shampoo and also too most of the time I skip conditioner in my hair, curly hair routine but we'll get to that part so I take the shampoo start working it in my hair and I like to get a really really good cleanse I use the like balls of my fingers so not my nails but just like my fingers and I make sure to do that around my whole head like make sure my whole scalp gets cleaned and also to I put special attention to like the middle of my hair because the middle of my hair tends to get neglected sometimes and also to the back of my head during this step I just really make sure to clean my hair and scalp really really well because like i said clean hair and a clean scalp is key to a great wash day after that i rinse it out and again thoroughly 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 rinse out the shampoo you do not want any shampoo hanging out and lingering in your hair and then after that would normally be conditioner but i usually skip the conditioner and go straight to deep conditioner i deep condition my hair every single week when i wash my hair i highly recommend this because deep conditioner typically does what conditioner does just better i normally skip conditioner and just go straight to deep conditioner now if you do want to use a conditioner i do recommend the olaplex conditioner it's really really good i don't really have a recommendation for a regular conditioner because I don't really use them that often but again conditioner is a skippable step so I skip on to the deep conditioner and I have quite a few favorite deep conditioners but the one I will be using today is the nostalgic Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore treatment mask from Shea Moisture this used to be it back then okay 2017 natural hair community like this was it okay but this hair mask always makes my hair feel really really soft and really hydrated and i feel like it kind of adds some shine to my hair usually once my hair is finished it has shea butter which really helps with moisturizing your hair and it also has jamaican black castor oil which is what i feel like makes my hair more shiny so i take a scoop of the deep conditioner and then i kind of like scrunch it into my ends because i just really want to make sure that my ends get coated your ends are like the weakest part of your hair and they normally need the most attention and they're also the part of your hair that everybody sees especially if you have a fro what people visibly see is like the ends of your curls the most and so i really just like to make sure that my ends are being taken care of so i scrunch it into my ends and then i just work it through the rest of my hair and i also make sure to work it around the edges of my hair too because that area can easily be neglected and then one other area that i give very special attention to is the middle of my head for whatever reason this hair is always struggling it's always like the weakest most brittle and so i like to put extra extra care and attention to the middle of my head so i kind of split my hair in the middle and then gunk the hair mask on that section just to really Really make sure that it's nicely coated and saturated after that I split my hair in half and then I detangle so I like to use a wet brush and so what I'll do is take the brush split my hair in two big sections and then I'll brush that mask through my hair this helps to evenly distribute the mask throughout all of your hair but also to to detangle your hair and then a cheat code to detangling is to add a little bit of water wet your hair a little bit run your hair under the water for like a split second just to add water to it it makes the conditioner or deep conditioner more slippery and it makes detangling 10 times easier thank me later after i've brushed the deep conditioner through my whole hair and detangled it i'll normally put my hair up in a little bun and then i'll take the rest of my shower and let this deep conditioner sit and work its magic then i take my shower per usual after i finish my shower now it is time to rinse out the deep conditioner and i rinse it out upside down you don't want to rinse the deep conditioner that's in your hair onto your clean body that's how you end up getting like body acne and stuff like that so one trick that i learned that helped me stop getting like pimples on my body was to rinse my hair upside down and so i'll turn my head upside down run my hair 
there under the water and I'll rinse out the hair mask. And then after that's rinsed out, now it's time for leave-in. My favorite leave-in is the As I Am leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner has ingredients that help to seal your follicles, which helps lock in moisture into your hair, but it also helps to make your hair shiny. But my favorite thing about this leave-in conditioner, and this is probably the reason why I always come back to this one, this is like my go-to leave-in conditioner, is that it has ingredients that help prevent flaking. When I use this leave-in conditioner, my hair is never flaky. It mixes really well with stylers. And so yeah, I rarely ever have any type of flaking when I use this leave-in conditioner. And usually if I do have any flaking, which I think has only happened like once, is because I was using a bad gel. So I take this and I work it in the same way I work in the hair mask. I wanna make sure my ends are really getting nice and moisturized and that my whole hair is getting moisturized, especially that area in the top of my head. So I'll take some, scrunch it on my ends, work it through my hair, and then I'll split the middle, work it in that section too, just to make sure that section is really nice and hydrated. And then after that, I get out of the shower. The next and final step of my curly hair routine is styling. Now my absolute favorite styler right now, I have been using this so much. I probably went through like six bottles so far, is the gel called Big Papa from The Dew. And I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. But this gel is like my go to we go together real bad i love it so much because it like it gives me that definition it gives me that hold those juicy curls but it doesn't give me the crunch it's just like the perfect middle of like gives me definition but it's not too heavy gives me hold but it's not too crunchy this is quite literally my favorite gel that i've tried ever doesn't give me any flaking at all like i just love it usually when i style my hair i section my hair into three big sections so i'll take like a big middle front section and then the two sections left over in the back i'll split those into their own sections and then i normally split the section into three sections just to make my hair easier to do it's just a matter of like what is most manageable for you and your hair sometimes if i'm feeling lazy i don't split the sections into sections i just go with the big sections and just do it because it's fast but when I really want my hair to look nice, I'll split it into the big three sections and then I'll split those sections into three sections as I'm styling. And then when I'm styling my hair, I just take some of the gel, I smooth it onto my hair, take like a good amount, like don't be shy with this. And I smooth it onto my hair. Like I work it in my hair, but like like almost like squeeze my hair. Like you wanna smooth it. It helps the curls kind of clump together nicer. It helps your hair look a little bit more together and it just really helps the curls like pop and like do their thing. Even when I'm like raking my fingers through my hair, like I'm squeezing my fingers together. You really want your hair to be smooth so that you just get the best definition possible. Sometimes I'll see people like raking your fingers through your hair, but you're just like really loosely like big claw raking your fingers through your hair. And that is only causing more frizz. You want definition. So I cannot stress this enough. Smooth the product onto your hair. Like keep rubbing your hair and like basically like squeezing it until it feels smooth. And then when you let go and you see that curl shrivel up, it's, it's beautiful. That's a beautiful moment. And then what I'll also do is after I just finished styling a section, I will go ahead and um, spray that section with water and then I scrunch it. It's something about adding water after you finish styling your hair that it just like makes the little flyaways clump together and go away. It adds extra definition and makes your curls just pop a little bit more i just love it it's my hidden gem it's my secret i've been talking about it for a while but i still do it and it still works amazing another thing is when i'm working on that section in the middle of my hair that's normally struggling usually the curls are like having a little bit harder time to like clump up and form on their own and so i usually do a light finger coiling on that section just to give the curls a little bit more definition and then I, sometimes i will rake my fingers through those pieces of hair a little bit because i'm not really going for finger coils i'm kind of going for like my natural curl pattern and then I also take the front pieces right in the front of my hair and I'll coil those two just because I just like those pieces of hair right in the front of my face to just be really nice and defined and curly and I just love it. So yeah, that is how I style my hair. I just do that same thing around my whole head. And then afterwards, my hair is done. I usually let my hair air dry. I do this routine once a week, typically on Sundays. And that, my friends, is my entire 2024 updated curly hair routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep up with my curls throughout the week until my next wash day because there are some there are some little tips and tricks that I use to keep my curls looking nice all the way throughout the week. You know, I'm going to be covering like how do I sleep with my curls? How do I shower with my curls? How do I refresh my curls if they need to be refreshed? I'll go over all of that in the next video. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I post that video. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. That's all. And I will see you in my next video.